Oh, oh, forgive the chatter you hear. Some recording in the middle of the day right here. It's a Saturday. The day before Easter. Uh, I just been finished listening to, uh, I download uh, uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Uh, a weekly radio program on Talktainment Radio with him. He's, uh, he's the co-host, or he's the co-host, or he's the guy, and uh, Mr. Bobby's the co-host. And so I listen to him all the time. You know Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. I keep on talking about his, his book. This one right here. You know, United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept Textbook Workbook for Thought, Speech, and or Action for Victims of Racism, White Supremacy, written by Mr. Neely Fuller, Jr. Uh, this is the 1984, 1984, yeah, 1984 edition. When I get to the States, I get the newest edition. These are 2017, whatever it was. But, you know, he's been writing this uh, book for a long time. You know, he started in the, I guess he said the 40s, 50s? Yeah, the 50s, Korean War. Um, started in the 50s uh, doing this, this sort of stuff. And, he's been, and, and all through the 60s, you know, he'd have debates. Like, in the 60s, you know, we had debates, like, all night long. You know, we, we started, like, you know, 6 o'clock in the evening and go all night smoke-filled rooms we're talking about. All night long, when I was in college, especially, but you know, all these heavy days about liberation. This was the Black Liberation Movement that time, you know. Um, of course, we didn't have the same money. It's a different era, so you could do this all night long. Which means that when he was, when his book came out, or as his, before his book came out, he had long discussions with people, people of note, throughout the time, and, and he stayed on this one concept of ending racism or dealing with racism as a system, the system of, of uh, I say Anglo-racist, white, white supremacy, but he's a system of racist white supremacy, okay? So all the time. So uh, now what I'm, why am I talking about this and, 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 and I want to talk about, well, let's put it this way, that this last episode that, that aired on the 17th of, uh, of whatever month, we, April, April um, they, uh, a lot of folks through the emails as well as the um, uh, as well as the broadcast questions, it asked about ADOS, you know. And uh, interestingly enough, this is the first time I heard that the broadcast, we really answered precisely, they went into the new book, has some stuff about them, because like I said, I call it repair. It's right thing is repair, you know, it's a, re it's a repair thing. But here's the, here's the thing I, I, I realized, right? See, let's put it this way. Um, so Pan-Africanism is a larger thing uh, and they're trying to they try to include everybody in their thing, okay? That's what I'm saying. What Neely Fuller wants to do in terms of ending racism and making what and creating what, what he calls universal man, universal woman, which res, that deals with respect and all this stuff. Well, that is also an overriding thing. Anybody can anybody. He basically says that any person that's non-white. Uh, is is a victim who is a victim of of, of Anglo racist white supremacy or racist white supremacy. If you're non-white, you're a victim of that. Of course, then you had this problem with the oh well yeah well what about the uh, uh, what about the Chinese yeah, and what they're doing whatever. But that's where I come in. The, the, see, I say that a system of Anglo racist white supremacy. Well, uh, that's a system that we're talking about. So if the Chinese come in, it'll be a system of Chinese. Uh, racist white supremacy is always it's still white supremacy. They're just mimicking white supremacy. You see, that, that, that's that's exactly what they're doing. Okay, so I say that uh, or bring that up uh, to say what's interesting is that with with again with ADOS is a specific is a, a specific claim, and I think the problem is because we say reparations is the first thing out of people's mouths. That I don't people really don't understand. Representation is part of it. Um, the ATOS really, I don't want to say they have to stop saying that. It's just one of the, the, the black agenda items. But they don't have to stop saying that. I don't even downplay it because everybody's going to keep on with it because it's so sexy. It's in the, it's in the news now. It's just the echo chain. People are going to be doing that. But really, it's a political system. Or rather, it's a political movement trying to address a debt. Okay? A debt. So when, 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 if you was to ask me, I said, well, what's, what's, uh, what's ADOS? I said, it's a political system uh, trying to, trying to um, uh, deal with a debt uh, that's, that's owed from, from, this, from, the, from the, the system that we were, that we were grabbed to and, and had to service and had to be slaves of and had to be discriminated and all the rest of that stuff. And now we're collecting on that debt. As part of that debt, we have, we have, there's a monetary component, which everybody's jumping on with reparations, right? There's a, there's a goods component. In other words, you, you, be, you should be supplying us 
because we, we, we made it so you can have all this farming and all the rest of the stuff. So not only that, but other things like that. And then, of course, there's the services. Again, we made it so the, the, all this infrastructure that we had first gotten, whatever, we made it so, this, so so right away we can deal with services, goods, I would say, not say lastly, but services, goods, and and money. But if you keep on focusing on the money, it's going to mess people up. You know, it's, you know it's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm, I'm in support of, of, of Andrew uh, Yang is because if you give everybody a thousand, a thousand dollars, then what happens is the white people, you, you, or people who are not ADOS, they sort of calm down, they got something. Meanwhile, we can still go beyond, do our rep, get our thousand dollars a month too, but also get the... Um, Deal with the reparations and the goods and the services that we are that we are uh, that we are at the front of the queue to get. In fact, that's the whole thing. Whatever we get in reparations, that model will be so good that they will start have to apply that to other groups. Not just I'm not I'm not talking about other groups in the United States, but once once the United States doesn't. If you, I don't know if you when you travel, you know you're going to have one of the things I learned from the, the broadcast. Um, is there's just this thing where you're going to have to have a, a passport to even get on a domestic flight. So get your passports now. Anyway, once you travel, but you 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 understand that um, United States or Black culture specifically, but but U.S. Uh, sensibilities are just permeates the, the globe, just permeates the globe. So whatever the U.S. does, whatever we AUS is is good at, if if, if Mr. Neely Fuller's uh, uh, things are addressed and we're good at, we do that, we solve that problem. All these everybody else will will emulate that. Will they will imitate that? So if we're going after our reparations, then all these other people are going after reparations. If we say that, hey, you, whatever we say, if we, say, if we stop the, the other thing, that's what happens. It's just as simple as that. I don't, you know, it's, it's easy, you know? So that's the thing. So, but one of the things that's interesting, uh, I'm having fun and games with, and it's like people get so personal, upset when stuff happens. Like, like Yvette has a, I, has a thing, or oh, Yvette as well as Antonio, uh, jumping on the baby boomers. I'm a baby boomer. I don't take this personally. First, I'm an outlier anyway, but I know what they're saying, so I don't take this personally at all. But they did, they, they, they go so hard on the baby boomers that they're to betray them, what they did, and I agree, actually, you know, like that, that the baby boomers get all mad and so, instead of, you know, come on, you know. Uh, but Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. is, is interesting. He's, a, he's an elder. He says, there are no elders in this situation, you know. I'll let you start tuning into Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. I'll put a link, whatever have you, and you'll understand. In fact, I'll link the, the, the broadcast I just heard. And you, you'll understand what I'm saying. I won't go into it. But the real, but the, but the thing is, nobody should take anything's purpose because you're looking at what, what what has to be done, especially baby boomers, since we messed up really bad. You know what I mean? That we really, really need to not. In other words, you don't put Yvette and them down. You say, "Oh, that's the youngsters doing it." What? What? Now that I missed that, what am I supposed to be doing right now? That's the whole thing. I'm supposed to be getting rid of this system of racism. So even as let me put it this way. Let let the generate let the people who want to deal with with um, uh, with um, ADOS issues, well reparations, whatever. They, let them deal with that. I think the older generation, what we should be dealing with, is follow Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Who's who's in his late 80s, as far as I understand. Well, follow Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. And with real concentration, I mean, even as we help the ADOS flank, you know, the tip that tip of the spear, we should be concentrating on Mr. Neely Fuller's thing, who's been working for since the, since the you know since the fifties of getting rid of racism, getting rid of racism, producing justice, justice as defined by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. is the guarantee. No one is mistreated. That's what we should be doing, even as ADOS is moving, even as the pan Africans supposed to be doing what they're doing or whatever, and, the, and the people getting reparations, even as everybody's doing what they're doing. Now, that whole generation, in fact, we can make this a global thing, if, the, if, the, if, the, if, the, if that, and, and a non-racial thing, and not whatever. It has to be you want to get rid of, of, of injustice, of white supremacy. This could be global. People of our age, that's what we should be spear, uh, uh, spearheading. So anyway, this thing went off. So that's it. Just want to let you know. A little message, short, hopefully, from me. T, from the Patterson's Take the Train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect from a desk. It's not official. It's just, you know, I call it that. You know, I'm not, I don't spokesman for, uh, you know, for ADOS or anything like that. A desk of the American descendants of chattel slavery. 